What is going on, everybody? It's Vatred here. How are we doing tonight? Looks like we got Moist holding down the chat for us with Brock. What is going on, my dudes? So we're hopping back onto the KOTOR tonight. We're going to get started with a little Dantooine to kick it off, getting our Jedi training out of the way. Let's go ahead and fire Ron up and get down to it while... Everybody still makes their way in here. Wombus. Oh, the Wombus Chumbus. Big Chungus. What's going on, Instructor Pat Stone? All right, so we're on Dantooine. We're going to go meet with uh, the Jedi Council here. They're probably going to scold us a little bit and reluctantly decide, yeah, we'll train you. Why not? You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah here comes the scalding. Order. I uh, believe you're mistaken. I'm not a Padawan. I'm a Chab Cum. I'm here with Bastila. Bastila. I came I have heard for the Cum. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. Oh, but don't even get you, me started. You claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. Well, if this is some type of jest, facts don't care about your feelings. Taste. I'm not a the Jedi Padawan. Order is not a subject for jokes. I didn't come here to get scolded by you. I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the force be with you. And I wish you a pleasant fuck off. They're waiting for you inside. Oh, are they? Oh, we better not uh, rush them. So you are the one who rescued Bastila. Because ah, so there's a little here. bit of texture we change have been here. Discussing your rather special they case. made a... I am Master Jar, a red twee look instead of, Council. like, his With pinkish me, color. Master Rook. Master Vanda. He's <laughs> just facing the wrong the way. <laughs> Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila. I am Vandar sure doesn't give a shit. He's like, I'm just going to stare off into space. So you've drawn me into your little trap, Bastila. What now? Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant, sweaty? Yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. So, uh, what do you want from Bastila me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Strong in the Force? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I have already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. Yeah, there is no there luck. Is only the force. There's no nothing, only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? And here's Rook always to, here to tell me what I can and can't do. I'm not going to say I'm willing to try my best because, you know, do or do not, there is no try. I always listened to Yoda say that, and, you know, I never really understood it until I got a little older. But basically, it's, um, you know, if you 
only ever believe that you can try to do something, you never believe you're actually going to accomplish it, so... You know, I'm ready to accept the training, and my age has nothing to do with it! Such pride, such... Yeah, let's arrogance. piss off Rook a little bit. <laughs> this one is already not like on it's the hard to do. the dark side. As are many who are not given proper training, Master Rook. Only through our guidance can we hope to lead those who have strayed back to the path of the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should He's so strong in the forest he has to private. talk to you sideways. Bastila, you and your companion I mean, if go. Vandar faced you full front forward alone. with all of his, like, wish, force Vandar. come energy, you wouldn't be able to... And leave you, to your you wouldn't be able to survive. You would just be completely sent into the nether world of the force. That's, that's like how strong of a of a flow we're talking about. Alright, so we're going to get our next little dream about star maps. Good old Revan and Malak back in the, the day. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Ooh, Malak's ready to come at all this dark power in the temple. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. And Revan's like, yeah, if it's we pass wise. This door, we can never go back. The order will surely banish us. <laughs> yeah, this Revan, don't give a talk. So valuable. Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. I, uh, I had a rough night, Karth. I can't say I blame you. I, I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. Here, I thought things would get better once we escaped Terrace. You got it. Yeah, I'm not taking a party. I don't really need one for today's activities. So to my level 8, let's look at my feats. I've got implant 1, 2, and 3. Yes, yeah, so I don't need to level. Fuck that. Hey, it's Shuma. Shuma, the hut here is uh, cut content. Welcome to my humble abode. What, your little section of the hangar bay? That's your home? Just live here? You're a hut! You are most perspective, I see. Yeah, not many people can tell first glance who to thunk it. Merely a businessman who's been cast out from his home in the most cruel war. The council has seen fit to grant me asylum away from the dangers in this sector. Enough about my troubles. What more would you have of me? Uh, okay, what are you doing here? Ah, so displaced by the Sith, huh? Damn, so Sith just like made a bioweapon and drove them all out. That's sad. Well, uh, enjoy your little uh, shanty in the hangar bay. I mean, at least you got a little shade and shelter from when it rains, I guess. 
All right, let's go ahead and continue the training. We'll get our Malice Troop back in the hover tank. Bo, what Last is two up? Two years. Cheers for all the streams, Vader. Except the Manon one. <laughs> I figured you'd stop out for the Kotor, man. Well, thank you for the two years, real Bo. Wow, I think you may be one of the first to hit the two-year mark. Of a most unusual development. If not the first. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. But you came right on time. We're still in the early part of the stream here. And luckily, we won't be on Minan for a long Perhaps time. <laughs> they're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there... I don't know if Vader hit two years yet, because he's kind of been on and off. I'll have to check that. Mr. Jingles, what's up? How you doing? When are we going to game? Man, one of these days, I swear. Once I, once I don't have anything left to play. I've been doing a little movie battles here and there, but I just finished Dead Space. So I do have like a week here before the remake comes out where I will need to play some other stuff, so... Might be able to get into something different here next week coming up. That's what's up. Right, right. Um, so what? You like playing Phasma, right? Uh, they seem to be searching for Bastilla something. has described the shared dream to the council. You know it. Okay, detail. okay. I might be able to sneak a Phasma stream in dream. here. On like, uh, I got, got a day of off course, Thursday, so I would probably... Brilliant. As it actually uh, stream around up. the same time. Oh, it's Corey. What's up, Corey? Hell yeah. Corey of the House Ordo Malaeus. Let's go. <laughs> I trust in your greater wisdom. No, that's that's too that's too submissive and breedable. I'm going with him. I'm, 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 I'm having visions now? You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force. Phasma and in VR other. is terrifying. <laughs> this is not unheard of. I bet. I've never played it in VR. I don't have a VR set. And student, it's not yet. But rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. But no, uh, Jingles, what else do you usually like to play? Usually the biggest multiplayer game that I have a lot of people play with me is like movie battles, of course. And I would definitely recommend it if you got fucking MB2 on, or you got Jedi Academy on the low. I'll sell you this old vibe I just got from Golgo for 600. <laughs> Are you saying I'm I'm joined with Bastila? Ooh. You and she are. Living. Wouldn't we all like to join up with Bastila? Am I right? <laughs> Together, you two may be able to oh, stop yeah. Darth Malak <laughs> and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. To Vrook, everything is the path to the dark side. Living is the path to the dark side. Oh, you'll knock off ten just because you know I'm Vatred. That's a great deal. Yes, I'm ready for whatever awaits me. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We Hanging out with Yaddle is the path to the dark side. To <laughs> What's up, Chloe? Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. So I think, um, it is only a matter of time other than Grogu, Yoda, and Yaddle, Vandar here is like only the fourth the person side. that's, um, Yoda's species that Sith you ever see Malik in the Star Wars Vandar universe. Grogu. Just a, a little fun fact I'll toss in. Went to the store that passed out. <laughs> Sigma grind set. That actually sounds nice. I don't take enough middle of the day naps these days. Jedi turning to the dark side? Oh no. How can he be stopped? Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla shared. The Council has come to the conclusion that you and Bastilla must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Perhaps there you will find some clue. Well, I tell some you what. Some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Tell you what, Mr. Jangles. 
Um, Borderlands 3, I have installed. I've played it on stream a few times. Uh, definitely could maybe do that one again. Uh, Battlefront 2, I do not have installed. Usually by the time I start streaming, which is like 10 o'clock later at night, on PC, all of the servers are so freaking dead, at least for the game modes that I like to play, like Capital Supremacy and like the big map modes. All of them are just dead as fuck after you get past like 10 o'clock. Um, what else was on there that I see was interesting? You said you have Jedi Academy. You need to get movie battles. I got the hookup right now. You ready? One no. guy says, all Billy had to do was play Donkey Kong, play in public, and get a score. Why didn't he do that? What an idiot. Man, we've barely been 20 minutes in. I don't want to start up MAME like right this second. The ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. Pain. We As you wish, Vandar. At once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy. Oh no, that's not movie battles. You're thinking of um. You're thinking of like the Rift the Tracks you game. Chosen to walk is difficult. <laughs> you like the sound clip for that? For the demands of the the Billy sound clip's the best part about it. Teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, I tell you what, I'll, you I will do MAME, but I'm at knowledge. least going to play KOTOR for an hour. Just because this is one of the things I re-upload onto YouTube, and I'm not just going to upload like a 20-minute me talking Others through the, the order Jedi training clip. <laughs> so we'll at least you round it up to an hour so I can get a couple bond. things done, and then we'll hop over and do, do some MAME. afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And I'll let chat chat pick the main games for me. In all my years. Oh yeah, it's a I mod for Jedi Academy. There you go, Mr. Jingles. So quickly. It's a multiplayer mod for Jedi Academy. It's really fun. I recommend if you have Jedi Academy, install it. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Few mention those names around. Yeah, I want to ask you about Revan and Malak. I suppose actually. it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceived the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil. One I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. I mean... Not all of them are. It's kind of like a systemic thing. Like, in different periods in the Jedi's history... In terms of how more closely inlaid with the Senate they get over the progression of, you know, when we get from KOTOR to, like, the Clone Wars to the rise of the Empire. And we pretty much see, like, the Jedi in places that they shouldn't be. Like, in terms of, you know, serving is like a wing of the government in a way. The Jedi or at least that's how I've always interpreted it. Malik. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson, but to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. All right, we know all that. To join his closest friend. That's just the Mandalorian Wars and many of our Revan and Malak joined up when the Jedi didn't the want them to. The Mandalorian threat. They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan, Malak, and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted. Their spirits were tainted. 
and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this. A lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the... Yeah, but he talks a little bit, about, a little bit about the unknown regions, and Swator touches on this a little more, but that first time after the Mandalorian Wars, you know, they go out into the unknown regions, they discover the true Sith, and then they come back as kind of like puppets for a bigger Sith Lord, which... I don't know, I feel like that end of it could have been done better than what Swator did with it. You have learned much, yet there is... When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. Alright. Good deal. These two are also another cut content thing. In the vanilla game, they're not in here. Um, oh, and with MAME, that, that doesn't have any network capabilities. It's just an emulator for, like, arcade games. So, to my understanding, there's no network capability, at least I'm aware of, that would have, like, public or private servers. It's not a lightsaber. It's nothing. No, what, a, what a whiny little mannequin Skywalker here. Too headstrong, too overeager to move without the knowledge necessary to use what you learn. A lightsaber is a delicate and subtle weapon. It cause great harm to its wielder if not used properly. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. Yes, Master, thank you. Yes, Apprentice. Uh, who are you? Master Tariluk. I train here under Master Jar Lestin. A Jedi's training is never over, even when one has a Padawan of their own. Knowledge will be the key to our eventual victory over the Sith. Knowledge of our weaknesses and theirs. Knowing yourself is the key to any great battle. Is there anything else you require? What do you know of the Council? Oh, they're all great and powerful Jedi. Nothing wrong with any of them. Uh, don't be intimidated, however. I must go. As you will. Yeah, Movie Battles 2 has a server list. Um, that's unrelated to MAME, though. But yeah, I play on, like, uh, the public servers usually for Movie Battles. Normally, whenever I go in there, I just kind of try to find whatever server is the most populated and just go from there. But there are some smaller servers if it's on the right map that can also be very fun to play. Uh, this console is not ra facing the right way, I, I don't think. It's kind of at an angle. Oh wow, they just let me pick my class from the terminal. This must be a mod thing. Hmm. Wonder what I should do here for my class. What's MAME? MAME is just an emulator that emulates old arcade games like, you know, Paperboy, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, uh, Mortal Kombat. Like, I have thousands of ROMs of just, like, old 80s, 90s arcade games. So we got slow skill progression, slow feet progression. Yeah, you got it. Kind of like what SNES box used to be. Yep, and there are still like plenty of emulators for like Nintendo, PS2, PS1. You can pretty much emulate about any older system. Ooh, I'm thinking either the Sentinel or the Consular.
I have an idea. And we'll set this for like two minutes. Alright. If anybody wants to put any input into what class I should go with Jedi-wise, go ahead and vote in the poll. So I'm thinking of either doing, just continuing on the balanced route and just playing Sentinel so I've got like good skill progression. And like halfway decent health and vitality per level. Okay, um, Fight Kate I do have installed, but I haven't ever tried any, like, ROMs or anything on Fight Kate. I just kind of have it, um, to have. <laughs> just in case, like, I ever downloaded something that I wanted to play for it one day. But that's cool to know. I didn't know that, like, there was also a MAME hub for that. Oh no, it might end 50-50. Here's your stat comparison. I mean, if, we, if it goes 50-50, I'm going to go with my original idea. Because the other idea is something I just kind of came up with. Also play some GTA 5 once in a while in Total War. Okay, I've not I've not played much of like uh, the Total War stuff personally. Um, GTA 5, I played the Chaos mod at least on here and that was pretty wild. G mod. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that very often. All right. So I guess it just tells us about the classes. I'm going to go consular then. That was my original idea. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will but be. But we got to recite the, the Jedi Bible, Code first. The lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. You must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests kind of test. you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Yes, Return the Code. You feel you are ready for this challenge. Let's do it. Ugh. I don't need Greetings, to talk to anyone. I'm ready to continue. Soon your apprenticeship will end in the traditions and customs of our order. These tests... First, you must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code by completing these fundamental precepts of our order. There is no emotion. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is no chaos. There is no death. You have learned your study right. well, apprentice. GG Easy Jedi Code done. A full Darth Gudo, order. what's going first, on? You must pass the second test. And Thanks for learn stopping about out. The most prized possession of a Jedi. There is no emotion, the only sexual tension. <laughs> the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the tradition. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct her lightsaber with her own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. 
All right, Dorax gonna help us with the healing crystal powers that are gonna charge up our lightsaber here. Ah, you have come, ah. young apprentice. At you have come. <laughs> he sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. No, not really. Um, Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, everything was fine. I mean, until they brought back Palpatine and just kind of really went off the rails with the Rise of Skywalker, the last movie, that's when they kind of lost it. I think it could have been fine after The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. I just think Star Wars fans are going to repeat in a never-ending cycle of always hating the new thing. When it was the prequels, that was what ruined the franchise, but now that there's a new trilogy of movies, it's those that ruined the franchise, and the prequels now, I guess, are, you know, time-honored classics, which was definitely not the case when I was growing up with those films, like I vividly remember. So, you know... It's hard for a Star Wars thing to please everybody. That's why I'm kind of glad stuff like Andor has came out of recent. That's really hasn't caused any drama in the fan base that I don't have to constantly listen to everywhere. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. Oh, a desperate-look of thugs. Weapons, and she They're looking to, to you for help. have a bus in time. Uh, let's stop the thugs and find out why they're attacking her. Hmm? Hmm. Indeed. Yeah, hmm. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Find out why he turned to the dark side and try to turn him back. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies yeah, um, on the other side. Dark what Empire had the same plot, and it really wasn't um, a fan favorite. Now, people do like Dark Empire. If Valk was here, he would have probably a lot of good stuff to say about Dark Empire. I only read, like, um, I think it was only a comic. I don't know if it was a full novelization there was probably like a fully novelized version, which I did not read. I read the comic, you know, it wasn't bad, but Palpatine cloning himself. Yeah, it's been done. And I don't know if it was even that great of a plot the first time. I am beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Yes, I thought it Yeah, I'm going to do As some suspect, CIA shit and coordinate with the government, identify the consular. infiltrators. Color and That's what a consular would do. Most suited to, apprentice. Here is a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you on how to construct. All right. Oh, we get our uh, Jedi level ups here. May only get one skill point to use now. Well, shit. Well, I want to keep repair and computer use up. First and foremost. I don't know what level I need the mat to pass, like the skill checks I need for, like, HK-47, but I'm just gonna keep trying to max it. Two-weapon fighting. We'll just get the master version of that. I wanna be able to heal. That's probably a good place to start, right?
And I'm actually going to add fear. Because I like it a little more than, um... Like the regular stasis stun, force push stuff. And I've got pretty good charisma, so it should work. Yeah, we haven't actually put the lightsaber together yet. We still got to do that. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal. Yes, the crystal. Alrighty. And there we go. I got my green lightsaber. You have done extremely Ascending the well ranks. constructing your lightsaber, apprentice. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. What will these crystals they do for me? They can modify simple things such as the color of your blade, or complex ones such as crystals that reputedly increase the strength of the beam. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Oh, you Are don't you ready say. to face the final challenge, apprentice? Yeah, let's do it. You have learned oh. much. When you... I didn't mean to hit that. For every je even here, the ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. Deep meditation. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathhounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. And, uh, you guys haven't stopped them. You're just sending me to do it. This feels like dead space all over again. <laughs> what would you have me do, Master Jar? a symptom of the true problem. You know more than you're telling me. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta clean the, the taint. The cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the Force be with you. All right, we're officially based in Jedi pilled now. All right, so let's set up our party here for going out into the grove. I think I'm going to take Candrus and I'm going to take Karth, but actually, I wanted to make a switch here. I just want that. These guys also need a level up. I'll give Karth his stuff back while I'm at it. Huh? Karth's constitution up a little more here. 
Oh, we haven't used Karth for a minute. We might have a few level ups here. What? All right, I think we got the squad just about ready to go here. I think everyone's just about ready. So now we'll go out and explore a little bit. We'll do the Juhani stuff, and then once I'm like fully initiated, we can uh, start up the maim. The council has decreed you may come and. <laughs> the council has decreed you may come. <laughs> I cut him off at like the worst time. I mean, they let me come. Actually, not. let me go over here. While we have, like, a great background behind us, we'll talk to Candorus and listen to his war stories. Yeah? Oh, yeah. This is gonna look good. I'm here. Yeah, what do you want? What have you had any you stories? You tales of my exploits. Of the wars I've seen and fought, the enemies I've seen die by my hand. <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of Well, I hope you weren't fighting for 40 of somebody else's years. that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. The Sith came to us with an offer. To fight a worthy enemy in a battle right, that would be remembered forever. I'm gonna get a drink really forever. quick. I'm gonna Win just let lose. Candorous as long as uh, the talk here for worthy, a little bit. Then honor is gained. The glory at having you triumphed just, over uh, Once the next dialogue option comes up, us. just run off if real quick. I think it's kind stake, of a long one. Your possessions, your life, your world. Then the battle's meaningless. We Mandalore take everything we Man, this, are and I think this is the one I should have just ran out on because he's still going. It's the of yourself. The battle against death. Against oblivion. You seek death? All life dies eventually. A true warrior is one who can beat it down whenever it raises its head. But times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand. And fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it. Win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Wow, see? I picked the right one. And fucking finished right as I got back. That's perfect. We could talk to Karth more, but I don't really want to have that conversation. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I hey, can Hey, finding you with? Nemo. We done found him. Indeed. What is it you would like from me? The yeah, what do you know about the grove and the taint? Nothing of the grove. Then it would not be my place to explain its significance. But as the light side can be embodied in living beings, so can the dark. The grove can be found to the south and east in the plains, but be wary of cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else I can help you with? No, I'll be going now. I hope your time is well <coughs> spent here on Dantooine. Excuse me. 
Ah, oh, Gar. What's up? Uh, greetings, friend. Gar, matey. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? <laughs> yeah, they're waiting for you right now. Uh, Go right on yes. in. Yes. Thank you, Master Jedi. Stay here, Rilka. I'll be back in an hour or so. Yes, dear. Good luck. Hey, it's Are John. You How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. We're Jedi. <laughs> what we decide is always right. Now, now that is an arrogant fucking line there. Mandalorians? Weren't they beaten in the last war? No. They've been raiding planets across this sector and farms around here often. You Jedi have left them alone because they haven't harmed you. But they steal our property, destroy our land, and worse. I say we look worse, for these they even took our jobs! Stop them in the war. They're nothing but vicious pirates. <laughs> we should we should stop them if we can. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. Yeah, Candra, speak up. About to say, how does he and feel about all this Mandalorian shit talking going on? Us? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the men. Yeah, why didn't you try to stop Duro's them? Allies. Your I wife did. Ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get well, revenge your daughter. for my daughter. She tried, but you just cowered back to the enclave to beg me for help. <laughs> Those animals. No. Um. I'll protect you and your fellow settlers. That's I will give you all I have. That's a Just please much better way to address that. From the face of this planet. <laughs> I have an IV drip. Moist has an IV drip of Viagra on him that he drags around at all times. Stay hard 24-7. Man, I, I want to get one of those. <laughs> Dantooine looks peaceful enough, but... Packs of calf hounds roam these plains. We need to keep our guard up while we're out here. Wow, I like how Karth just chimes in right there. <laughs> Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. Hey, it's the droid lady. I seem to have lost my companion, you see. We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Kidnapped? What about the cath hounds? The cath hounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No. It must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Was well, it open from the yes, inside? Have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... A droid? Well, Nobody yes, mentioned a droid. He is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. What exactly do you use him for again? He is a personal assistance <laughs> droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As a last yeah, that droid takes husband, care of you, all my right. My <laughs> own personal ease of mind. I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, <laughs> I beg of you, return my droid to me. If I happen to see him, I'll, I'll send Thank him you. on back. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. I lost my droid. I need him so much. You have to help me, Vatred. <laughs> Not heavily armed enough, huh? Oh, yeah. Noble, are you? Trying to sell me something. 
I'm here offering you much in the way of weaponry. All right, well, let's see what you're selling. Cassus Fett's battle armor is pretty good. I think this is, yeah, it's fully upgradable, but we can't afford it, and it's not anything we could wear anyway. It would restrict most of my force powers anyway, and I don't think I have heavy class armor requirements. I did do a heavy armor build once, but right now I've already kind of locked myself into powers that are restricted by heavy armor. So it's too late for that now. All right, here we go. Let's give this a shot. All right, so let's head out this way. And then I'll also make another save that's a legit one, because one time I had a quick save just bug out on me, and that's that's no fun. You've been holding out on us again. Oh, here we go. We the Mando the Raiders. We're have to take it out of you piece by piece. No, please. Take my wife and children instead. Anything. <laughs> what a scumbag. Uh, wife and children. Yeah, just take the wife and kids. Leave me alive, please. Anything. I don't know. Is it even bad that they shot this dude? No, we're gonna go after him anyway. Good. Oh. oh, man. This Mando hits hard. You asked for this! Now, the eerie as that are just getting in the way, these guys are cut content. You can kind of see why they were cut, because they just kind of wander around and get in the way of everything. But for the sake of um, immersion, I think they were, they're really nice. And a couple of guys talk about hunting eerie as, but you never see any eerie as. <laughs> At least in the vanilla game, which I always thought was weird. So now we actually see what they look like. Oh, hey, that one stopped. Hey, how you doing, buddy? We'll just kind of blend into the herd of Eriaz here. Just GG easy. What are you two doing? <laughs> They're just stuck in it. I think these are the John Eerie has right here. What do you think about this candy man? Alright, what is this? The Metalli estate or the Sandral estate? I always get those two mixed up. Metalli. Shen Metalli! So yeah, this is um, Kunda in KOTOR 2. Fun fact. Get back here. Quit. Yeah, quit running away. Alright, good work, boys. Honestly, I think Karth and Candrus is like the best combo you can take for this part. I usually use them every time. Could always do a playthrough where I just take the worst party members through like everything. Yeah. 
How'd you like that? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yeah, that might be interesting. A playthrough of, like, Mission and T3 is your party. But the thing is, once you get your Jedi levels, you can make Mission an underrated tank. You just have to give her, like, dual pistols, a good amount of dex, um, nice little rapid shot, and then you could do stuff like, say, use stasis field and, like, stun a whole group of enemies, and then she's gonna hit them with, like, good rapid shot, couple upgraded pistols, and the sneak attack modifier, which she gets from her scoundrel class, and mission can be pretty dangerous. She's just not good in situations where it's close combat or she's gotta be used in melee. You know a lot about... <laughs> I've known about 14-year-old Mission for 20 years now, because this game's that fucking old. Crazy, right? <laughs> this is what I live. Time to rumble! <laughs> That'll show you. Yeah, that'll show you. That'll show you. All right, we mowed through these guys pretty easily. Get over here. Take a nap. <laughs> Oh, I'm stuck. Candy man. He's <laughs> what? He's glued himself to me. What? Watch time. Darth Gouda has spent zero seconds. That's not that's not right. Although the bot can be kind of buggy. <laughs> I... I... Man, she didn't even finish her line. Juhani's got a little bit of a stutter in this run. <laughs> Let's save right here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna hit the energy shield. Yeah, I gotta quit using Flurry. That's just gonna leave my defense low. It ain't gonna do me any good with her. Oh, hit her with the freaking fear. Yeah, that's right. Put the fear of God into her. You, you are strong. You're strong. Than me, even in my darkness. Why did you attack me? I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place. Hola, hola, the Uncle. Door. Hey, what's this going on, Cherry? Thanks for coming out. When I embrace the dark side, how's your night this going? This is where I sought my solace. It is mine. Have snacks ready? Heck yeah. I know you've been enjoying the co tour, so we're just um, on Dantooine now, doing the last step of our Jedi training. So you're coming at a good time. This is Juhani. She's a dark Jedi who's corrupted like this entire grove and made all of like the cath hounds and animals running around very violent. And we're supposed to console her and get her to embrace the light again. So we got to tread lightly in this conversation. You've been corrupting the cath hounds. <clears throat> yes. Aren't they pretty? My pets. They like the smell of power I exude. They know their master. I harnessed true power when I struck down my master, Quatra. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. You slew Quatra, your master? Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But 
it was not enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? Calm down, girl. I'm just here to talk. Talk? You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. Now, if you go the evil route, this is an... This is an option. You could technically kill her, but that's really counter... It's counteractive because she can join your party later and I don't want to short myself a party member. So I, I don't hold any anger against you, Juhani. I wish, I wish you peace. Not <clears throat> anger. Peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself... So did I, Bo. I didn't know how to do the I conversation, so I, is no way I picked an answer she didn't like and, and I had to kill her. <laughs> they held me back. Were jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. First step on the path to true knowledge is knowing that one is ignorant. I seem to still have much to learn. Both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. Your master knew the risks. <laughs> I suppose there's no hope. I guess I just gotta kill you now. No, nah, that's not a good one. Even in death, the Force will allow her to live on. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. I think, in my own way, I truly loved her. How can the Council ever take me back with what I've I think done? that line about it's loving her is also cut content. They cut that out of the vanilla game, because I don't remember her saying that. Anger? Ah, show them you freed yourself from this base emotion. That line always kind of seems a little, like, arrogant too, honestly. I, them, I am free of passion, that I am serene, that I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Your inner peace and harmony will show them your sincerity. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. If only there was some way I could make this up to you. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Good travels, Juhani. We'll, we'll talk soon. And Juhani, I think since um, we have the cut content, we do have the full like romance option for her as well. Um... Because there was a romance option for the game where, like, a female player character could romance her, but they cut it from the final product. So I think since we've never done it, we should... Tiger Eye Lady name? Her name is Juhani. And we'll be talking to her a lot. Oh, shit. Candorous is down. That's not good. She has a cam. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even notice that. I'll have to take a closer look at her when we get back to the temple. Yeah. But while we're out here in the grove, I want to finish off the rest of, like, the Mandalorian raiders because... Hmm? What? We're not going to, like, go out this far I'm again. Here. So we might as well just do it. Damn, and they did the same to Candorous. Shit. Whoa! Holy fuck. 
I wasn't expecting them to hit that fucking hard. That's... Ah, uh, that's gonna set us back a little bit. Gotta redo the Jahani fight. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to go south like that. <laughs> we were doing fine there for a sec, and then... Shit just hit the fan. There we go. Okay. I this they like I have I am I best but I I if I need you I think I if again. I'm gonna save after we've done that so that way we don't have to Okay, this isn't too bad. I just gotta make sure that this time we're ready for the actual um, fight with the Raiders, because uh, I think we could have prepared better. I'll just state it that way. We'll just do a quick transit, get my health back up. It's a good way to pretty much heal scum and force power scum. Just quick save, quick load, or just transit to the Ebon Hawk, transit back. That'll show you. <laughs> you like that. I don't want these guys getting in my way when I'm fighting the Raiders, so we're still gonna take them out too. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, let's not attack these guys quite yet. Be cool if you could tame them, right? Huh? What? What? See what kind of stimulants we have here. We're all going to hit stimulants, get nice and drugged up for this one. We're going to need all the supplements we can get to finish this one. Yes, yeah. the poison grenade. <laughs> the rarely used poison. Ah, I wish I could have stunned this guy. I don't want him up in my face. Not for long, at least. What? Oh! Uh. What? Oh fuck! He's just gonna blow right through Karth, though. I gotta get back in the game. All right, Candrus and I are both still breathing. I guess that's a start. He's gonna have to reactivate his energy shield. I'm going to need to do the same. Right. 
There we go. All right. We only got clapped a little bit there. That was way better. So let's just transit to the Ebonhawk. Transit back. And we'll go over into the Sandral Grounds. There is one more group of raiders we'll find there, and then we'll finally get to fight the leader. Now I forgot the... The crystal caves are up here, too. That'll show you. Here it is. Oh, those are some of the big boy cats. <laughs> takes care of that. So if you remember uh, Crazy Droid Lady from earlier in the stream, this is her droid. Uh, why were the Cathounds attacking you? They are beasts and have been very aggressive of late. I am sorry if I seem a bit abrupt, but I must be moving along. I am rather in a hurry. Uh, where were you going to? Not so much as where I am going to. But where I am going away from, I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She. she oh, hell yeah, Unky Vatrid! Manitoba, what's going on, man? Thanks for coming. Uh. Treats me as her dead husband. It's not healthy. Uh, does she do that in all the time? You don't want to know. <laughs> so, you're a sex robot, that's what you're telling me. Yeah, probably not. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people, and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. What, are you suicidal or something? I think it would be best <laughs> if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people. Living people, please. No, go back to her. She she should be able to live that neat life with her sex robot all she wants. I'm not going to shame her for that. But why? Yeah, go back. She's lonely. Needs your support. <laughs> You're right. How could I be so selfish? There you go. I must not think only of myself, but of how it affects her. She must be frantic. And if she lost me, she'd be devastated. I must return then. It is my duty. Atta boy. Ready. Huh? What? Alright, so we've got crystal caves. So we're gonna do that. We got one more group of Mandos, then the leader, and then that pretty much wraps up like part one Dantooine. Watch The Last of Us. Oh, yeah, that comes out tonight, doesn't it? Well, cheers for the stream. I'll catch the VOD later. Heck, yeah. Shit, I might watch The Last of Us later. <laughs> I didn't realize that was tonight. Um, the Last of Us is, um, it was a game, but they adapted it into a series that just came out on HBO Max tonight. 
and it's like a big deal. It has Pedro Pasquale in it, who plays um, the Mandalorian in The Mandalorian. So, I've been pretty hyped for it. Oh man, Candyman is getting his shit rocked right now. Oh no, they took out Candorous. Karth, uh, melee shield, yeah. Use one of those, and you'll be all good, buddy. Man, we've left most of these Kinraps in low health, but I can't hit any of them. I'm debuffed from all the poison. And get those little stingers away from me. Oh, Karth just dropped. Oh no. Alright, so we get a reflex package, a little upgrade thing. Yeah? Yeah! Ooh, an Iradu strength amplifier. Be a good one for Candyman. That takes him up to seven to twenty-one. Heck yeah! I'm here. What? You're gonna have the best chance of bashing eggs, Candorous. So I could always get a good laugh. Candyman, get this shit rocked. <laughs> hey, I, I just be myself. It's natural commentary. Nerds, Stark, what's up? You, you came here, you came just in time. It's time for Kinrath egg bashing. It's a time honored tradition. I've been bashing these babies probably longer than some of my viewers have been alive. Those aren't the only eggs Candyman's gonna be bashing. <laughs> you know, Candorous could fit right in that like Sopranos ball busting universe. He's just busting balls. Except there is eggs in the case of balls. No pet crystal in this game. We just get normal ones. I simply meant he probably <laughs> scrambles a good egg. <laughs> what? I mean, Candrus probably could make you a good, lean breakfast. He'd be like the steak and eggs breakfast kind of guy, but... Oh, that's a good breakfast. There's nothing wrong with that, actually. Ready. Hmm? Omelet flips. <laughs> All right, so we can mark that off of our list of shit to do. Now we've just got to find one more group of Mando Raiders, then we can get to the leader. There they are. Fall back, boys. We're 
We're not quite ready for this. Just <laughs> keep ready. it in your pants. Huh? Frying up some steak and eggs on T3's head plate after a hundred push-ups while smoking a cigarette in the morning. Oh, hell yeah. Hmm? Uh-huh. Stim up. Yeah. Hmm? I don't really need stims. Ready. Now we're going to lob a trusty Jedi grenade. You know, most people don't think of a, as a grenade as being something in a Jedi's arsenal, but you better mm -hmm. believe it is. Ha! How'd you like that? Ha! How'd you like that? Down you go! Ha! Bone died now on PC. Heck yeah. I don't know what truly is the best like device to watch me on. I've looked at my VODs on mobile and I do look pretty good on mobile um, streams, which I'm glad. So I try to accommodate for that as much as I can. Oh, Mando armor. We usually don't pick a set of that up this early. We'll put it on huh? Candyman. Ah, oh, the governor's robe. Although I don't know why anybody would want to wear it. Minus five all saves, light side and dark side. <laughs> That's such a shit armor. Oh, there he is. I'm here. Uh-huh. Huh? What? I'm here. Okay, I've seen you been going through the original Dead Space. You gonna play the remaster of it? Oh yeah, that's exactly the point of why I played 08 Dead Space. I wanted to get it out of the way before the remaster, and now that I've got it all, um, all done with about a week in between to kind of give it a break, I'm gonna come back to it so we can kind of see the instant difference. <laughs> And then I also saw some gameplay today for like Sons of the Forest, and that's coming in February, and I'm hyped for that one too. That one's going to occupy my stream time for a good bit for sure. I do own Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3. I think during one of the Steam sales, I got them all like packaged together for a good price. So yeah, I do have all Dead Spaces. Oh shit. We're in trouble. We don't have any adhesive grenades. Karth, try to knock it out. It's your only chance. Time to rumble. Yeah, time to rumble, all right. How'd you like that? Ah, resist every time. Got to try to keep my girl alive here. Ready. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. Well, now it's just the gun and run strat. 
Oh, thank goodness. I could not have taken one more hit. If... Dead Space 2 is co-op, which is nice, is it? I thought it was 3 that was co-op. Because, like, it's cool to play through the whole story co-op on 3. Even if Carver is just kind of a throw-in character who's just as batshit as Isaac. What? Oh, yeah, it's about time for some Dantooine CSI Special Victims Unit shit. Hey! That's not nice. Just spawning right in on me like that. Before we can even give the boys a chance. Oh, nope, wrong bridge. I thought this is where you find Baluk and start on your grandiose investigation. But I was, I was wrong. Yeah, Stark just knows everything about every game, I swear. <laughs> At least we got him to admit it, though. <laughs> stream duel. Well, uh, it's funny you mentioned that, Pat Stone. There's a new feature on my stream labs. It's called, like, uh, guest host or something. And I finally have the built-in mechanic to just bring somebody else in on stream who's also streaming. Oh. We got broken texture. Um, it's not called Stream Duel, though. They call it something different. When I get done with this, if uh, you're up, I'll pull up my dashboard and show you. Or I'll send you a screenshot. Time to rumble. Time to rumble. Alright. Yep, time to rumble. There's Baluk. We don't want to talk to him right now, though. Actually. Let's return to the Ebon Hawk. Got an idea. Not now, Karth. I know you feel left out of the loop and you're just a sad little loop cell right now. But we're not gonna we're not gonna discuss these things. Achuta. Wunga kumbistika. 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 Dong patuga smaktelea. Runda di hotonga kun hunka di. Wanna kun bez ching palamuka. Jedumka. Alright, you're just a merchant. I don't really care about what you go on about before then it's a good blade but not something I need right now for this I'm just kind of looking for a few of these get that for Candorous maybe probably can't even wear it I like the gloves, I like the belt. Like, once I sell some stuff, I'm definitely coming back here. We'll buy all your advanced med packs. <laughs> Good to see things in this Jedi Enclave. Oh yeah, this is a like they do this was a cut content world. invest or uh, conversation I didn't even realize. I'm not an expert on the Jedi, but this seems like the kind of thing that could get a person into a lot of trouble. Yeah, he offers to buy some of the crystals you get out of the uh, crystal cave. I don't think he necessarily pays all that great for them, though.
All right, now I feel like I have enough of everything. Yeah, about the guest streaming thing. Yeah, I think that's what I saw, at least, that popped up in my dashboard. Yeah, you should do the guest stream. I've really wanted to do, like, um, a few more commit committed collabs with other people, so... That'll definitely be something I've got planned here in the future. Anyway... Oh, no energy shields for anyone. Well, you guys got melee shields. So I'm going to let you equip those. And then Candorous is going to go ahead and give me the last use of his shield. Uh-huh. What? Ah, uh, so got to get Thor a team of engineers to make a multiplayer KOTOR mod. That'd be insane. Jedi. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your <laughs> head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. All right, so he's going to show us why the Mandalorians are still feared. Well, what I'm going to do is uh we're going to try to nade his ass right off the bat. Karth, or no, not that. I'm throwing the one concussion grenade. Try to throw a couple frags his way. Candyman, I want you to hit the big guy. Everything you got. Ready. Uh huh. You asked for this! Whoa. Can't keep our eyes off of the fucking leader here. He just absolutely cumstered fucking Candorous there. <laughs> Oh, we got him. We got him, and we got a level up. Perfect. That's going to get us a heal for free. Get my persuade up just a, just a tad bit. Going to master my toughness so I get a few more vitality points. Go to level two on the fear, get it up to horror level. See if we can stun more people now. How'd you like that? There we go, I'd hit two of them. We're still getting absolutely hammered by these guys though. I'm here. Ha! How'd you like that? There we go. Time to rumble. And there you have it. All Mandos cleaned up, taken care of. The settlers are safe once again. And we get some cool stuff. Like, we get a cool second and third lightsaber. Now we can rock two. Oh, wow. Fucking the water and everything. And the bridge looks so nice. What do you want? 
I'm Baluk, Jedi from the Enclave. I was sent by the Council to investigate a killing that took place here. Communication does not pose a problem. Both suspects um, and I speak basic and Hatties. I was going to handle it myself, but uh, now that you're here to do all the work, how about you give it a shot? You know, listen to their stories. I have an information retrieval droid. Blah, 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 blah. I'll use my wisdom and experience to offer you some guidance. But I won't solve it for you. There's little benefit that'll happen if I do that. The eerie as just walking right through the fucking conversation. <laughs> Yeah, just passing through. Another eerie as is passing by. The dead man, called her Nedic, shot in the back with a blaster rifle, found lying near the body with bloodstains in it, was sent back to the Enclave. Two other men were found. One was hand in gold. He was unarmed. The other was Rickard Lucif, who was carrying a hunting rifle. Both men say they did not do anything, and they said they came across the body, but both accused the other. Obviously, there's more to this than what there's been told. They laid him out. <laughs> they did. Sheesh. I'll begin my investigation at once. I won't spoil who it is, because we're going to solve this lickety-split. This is a pretty quick one. Alright, so we're gonna talk by talking or start by talking to Rickard. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Alright, Rickard. Tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it, and it drops. I walk over here and find Handen standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handen to the prison he belongs in? Okay. Interesting. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handen Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Should I have? Um... I guess, under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not yeah, much Yeah, Handon's kind of a fucking... I'm sure fucking... you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty. He's a little full of himself. See, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I yes, running. Can't I'm a runner. I like to no have a nice jog. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. You don't like to stay in anyway, shape? I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. <laughs> I ran over and found this man, Calder, lying on the ground, dead. Yes, you always have to listen very carefully. Did you see the kill? I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. And I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Alright, so... Get a little account from both gentlemen here. Let's talk uh, to Baluk. So, um, I want to discuss the murder. Is it possible that Rickard may have shot Calder accidentally? Well, Rickard's lying, number one. Uh, it was cloudy. There wasn't a sun glare. Very cloudy this morning. If it happened, as Rickard said, the sun would not have been visible at the time of the killing. It seemed to have caught Rickard in a lie. Should proceed with the next point, we need to find a motive. Alright, so now we just ask what each man's relationship to Calder is. So, 
What do you want to know? Uh, how do you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. Yeah, until we you came out here to kill him, partners. right? <laughs> we were involved in some orbit to ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. So, what do you want to know? Why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. When the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why that this doesn't is mean it was Handon, so though. Trouble. We don't know that. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. So, what do you want to know? You're limping. Are you hurt? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body. But it's nothing that serious. Right. All right, Handon, how can I be of further assistance? Do you know the victim? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one says you killed him, yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? How can I be of further assistance? Why would someone want to kill him? Um, well, you see... Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Hey, now, now I, I talked to that hut. And he's a very nice, legitimate businessman who I was. I hardly knew him. Um, I saw him once or twice, yes. Kicked out by the Sith. Kind things about him, but or the Sith um, make me kill put him, him in like refugee status. He's a nice hut, though. Don't talk shit about... I don't even remember his name. <laughs> I just know he's the hut from the cut content. <laughs> You're holding your side. Are you injured? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? As fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run yeah, fit as a bantha. Like a bantha. All right, well, that's all I need for now. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here on Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold Anetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information? Can you tell me about Calder and Handon? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder... Bezos the Hut is still the best Star Wars joke I've ever made. <laughs> that is pretty top. What about Calder and Rickard? According to the municipal authorities near the Garrel spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Interesting. Thanks. So both men have um, had bad run-ins with Calder Netic. So, so far, they both have motive. They had a fight over business matters. Ah, oh, fuck. Is there a Star Wars droid that likes to chill and smoke? You know, I don't think there is I, that I can name off the top of my head, but mm, I feel like a gonk droid would be nice to just chill and smoke. I mean, I'm sure if you put... 
I'm sure if you put some hoses in like a little water in the right parts of a gonk droid, you can make it into a gravity bomb. Ah, a can pipe. just. Wait, I have learned something though. Damn it! I just picked the wrong option, and now you won't let me talk to you is again. Does does is that that's what is that? Oh wait, we got to talk to. That's right, that's right. We find out about the speeder company because this guy's like, oh, I hate speeders. Never use I'll them. Further I like to run everywhere, but um, he's a liar because he fucking rented a speeder with fucking Calder. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you, it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. You'd better come clean. My wife was cheating on me with him. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But if I wrote sci-fi, I'd be able to write a smoking that, droid. <laughs> it that would be based. That would be my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Running's not a crime. This is true. Of course. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Oh. Oh. just Alright, we gotta... So... We gotta press him a little more, too. You thought Calder was cheating you. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. Because they both have motive that tracks back here. We're a shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. You can deny it, but there was bad blood. Right. Really? How can I be? A f that blaster was stolen. Oh, from we got to talk about the week. weapon. I never knew now. what happened. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cath hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? There we go. Knock his block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Oh my. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally yes, I'm not very prone incriminating. to like that, but Calder, Mr. Medic, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife. Right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. <laughs> but, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head running. from divorce proceedings, not stalking him to... Yeah, we know, we know. Of course, of course. Okay, so, now we're getting another piece of the puzzle. The blaster that was found on Calder's body belongs to Handon, but Handon claims it was stolen. Is there any other information you need? So we're going to run this all by the droid. Was there a report of Handon's blaster being stolen? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but is there any other... Very well. I will... The blaster is Handon's, but he lied about it being stolen. Alright, so now we've got a blood sample. It just got back from the temple. Can ask the droid. Is there any other? Tell me about this blood sample. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the Enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not called us. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant. We cannot get any more specific analysis. Is there any other info? 
Very well. I will be here. Alright, so no more questions for now. It didn't belong to the victim. It's Handon's blood. It's clutching his side. I mean, they're both clutching their sides. That's the key. Hey, 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 what are you doing? There is blood. A blaster wound to his side. So it seems likely that Rickard killed Calder for cheating him in business. While shooting Calder, he must have also hit Handon by accident. No. They're both guilty. They shot each other. Yes, well done. Both men had reason to want Calder dead. This is my theory of the morning's events. Both men knew Calder would be out here in the morning and each plotted to kill him. Handon found him first and shot him because of the affair Calder was having with his wife. Shortly after, Rickard arrived at the scene. From a distance, he saw Handon and thought it was Calder, so shot him in retaliation for the credits Calder had cheated for him in their business, or cheated him out of. Handon would have later dropped his blaster, the one he found, we found at the scene covered in blood, probably thought Rickard was going to kill him, so he called us, hoping he could convince us it was Rickard. And they're both getting charged. Under arrest. Busted. Book him. You did good. You might just make a proper Jedi yet. Who knows? Oh, okay, Karth. Thanks for the support. Imagine if he showed up five minutes later and he would have gotten 20 less years for the same result. <laughs> and all the cath hounds respawn. Or no, those ones aren't respawned, but they were there. I'm not fighting them. What? What? I'm here. All right, so we're going to head back to the temple here. And there's our droid and the droid lady. Looks like they're happily reunited. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. It's... It's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home right now and celebrate. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry. I'm gonna hug you and oil you and care for you and make sure you never, ever get away again. I mean, it sounds like this droid's got it made. Weird, weird lady. Well, she's... It's never outright um, explicitly said, but heavily insinuated that she ha um, has sex with the droid. Essentially, her dead husband built the droid is like... Um, just kind of like a butler droid to take care of her, and then the husband died, so she got like overly attached to the droid. 
Have you found the Mandalorian raiders yet? I found and killed their leader. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Like something from Here a Black Mirror episode, exactly. <laughs> Again, I thank you. All right, John paid me a thousand credits for that. Oh, well, hey, this guy has a name. Does he now, say anything? I'm grateful that your people harbor me in my time of need. I'm a victim, a refugee, I flee. I fled my world once the Sith fleet came. They bombed my world. But I run here. The Jedi find... I find the Jedi already here, unknown. Republic fights, but does not win. Not you to blame, of course. No, the Sith are strong. I must be going. I'm not going to be like, well, you could give something back, you ungrateful bastard. Please be careful on the plains, apprentice. Cath hounds are about. Hey, Nemo. I hear you managed to return Johanni to the Order. Congratulations. I regret not being able to tell you more, but some things you must see with your own eyes. Is there something I can help you with? About me? I am truly flattered. What do you do here? I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. I serve the good and, hopefully through that, the people of the Republic. I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable but regrettable also. We each serve in our place, high or low. Is there something else I can help you with? Oh, Nemo's so sweet. I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Nicest Jedi ever. They have VR por porn, but no green starburst. That's the real problem in this world. And I never really thought about that, Chloe, but there aren't any green starbursts, and why? Hey, there's Juhani, back in the temple. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. You've spoken to the Council? I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. <laughs> yes. That's the only solution. More VR porn. I mean, you could maybe even get green starburst in your VR porn. Or even if you're into green things, VR porn with the green M&M. Like, hear me out. They gave her her boots back. Like, she's sexy again. Tucker's pretty thrilled about that, even though the purple M&M who's plus-sized, even though they always had plus-sized M&Ms with the peanut M&M. That's just a bridge too far. <laughs> so, uh... That's pretty harsh. That's actually kind of fucked up. Quatra just faked her own death, acted like Juhani killed her during training to kill her to teach her a lesson. <laughs> Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. You can't expect to get everything handed to you on a silver platter. After yeah, candy man's like you gotta bootstrap your way up. Nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You. Johnny's got a strong chin. She could probably take a nasty left hook from Mike Tyson and still have that jaw intact. Throughout the galaxy, and she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. 
though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I can't say I approve of their training methods. Yeah, based Giving Karth. you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. All right. I think the other reason I just kind of like taking Karth and Kandorus through this part is they have the most to say. Anyway, let's go talk to Jar. Well, first, we can upgrade stuff. We got new crystals for the lightsaber. Ooh, we could do two greens. I like the the double green look. Karth is such a beta, though. I like Karth. He's he's just sad. His mentor betrayed him and orbitally orbitally bombarded his home planet. You have done well, my. Friend. Lost his wife. Doesn't know if his son's cured. alive. And, and when he does find his son alive, he discovers he's just joined up with the because enemy. You, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, Karth is a complicated man. What happened to her? Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master Karth is a bitch. <laughs> her training and injured her greatly, but it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations. Man, it looks like Jar is like lubing up those I Leku. Say, they look kind of moist. Congratulations, Badawan. It's nice to know he, you, you know, at least of still has Jedi. time for self-care. Let me be the first to welcome you as a In such a minimalist place as the order. Jedi Temple. John, I'm not... You may think... Actually, I'm not going to say anymore. I'm still clinging to moral ambiguity. I don't know whether I'm going to indefinitely be a Jedi or a Sith by the end of this. I'm just trying to... It is good to see John. I'm trying to make a compelling to story out of this here. You are to be <laughs> for your role in this. Or at least a more compelling one than what you could do with just the following future. the vanilla the plot. is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one oh, Korriban. Lies to the east yeah, Korriban's a cool planet we to play through. To investigate, but he has not returned. Depending on how I want to do the rest of the game, the I may do Korriban third and Manan last, visions. but I still may, may do Manan before Korriban. Is a task tied to your destiny. But just to like change it up, I may do Korriban before Manan. decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. I'll investigate the ruins right away. Be sure to bring Bastila with you. There is a powerful link between you. Ah, uh, do we and have to take to her? From each other during the trials <laughs> ahead. So Bastila is just like locked into the party. You know what? We haven't taken Big Z with us for a while. I demand justice. The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do oh, not want yeah, to Oh, yeah, Alan Metale. The if there is some mistake, Major dick mistake. right there. <laughs> My son Shen is missing. My son How Shen is missing. My adult son Shen. There are other possible explanations for your It's not needing in his bedroom ah, right now. Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate <laughs> this matter. I mean, 
it just makes Karth either seem like the unluckiest person ever, or even for a light-sided Revan, it makes your Revan seem kind of like a dick when you go light side and still kill Dustal, because Karth's like, yeah, why? My son is the only person you can save. I've literally seen you talk a hut out of their credits, but you couldn't save my son. <laughs> it's so sad. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. Alright, yes. so we'll go ahead and prep Bastila and Big Z here for the next part. And then I'm going to flip over and do Moist Maim Redeem to kind of end us out here. And then the next KOTOR stream will kind of be like Dantooine Part 2. Because I don't want to slog all this out at once. All right. What do we want to give Bastila next? Well, better force speed. I've got us covered in the Valor department, so I'm going to level up some of her other stuff first. Yep, Big Z has his own bowcaster that's like an upgradable weapon, but unfortunately, I mean, Big Z's a scout, so he has some ranged viability, but with like a... 21 constitution and 20 strength before modifiers even like there's no way you can't have him as a dual sword wielding tank in my opinion No better swords. We're good with that setup. I like it. Right. Got our two lightsabers leveled up. Let's see what we can do with Big Z here. Squatch with dual swords. It's a it's the best move, I think, for Big Z. Like, I'm just going to give him a little more deck so his chance to hit's a little stronger. Implant level 3. Like, Big Z's great. I think that makes us all about ready. Might as well get myself to full health too while I'm at it. I'm here. You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed. This will be the last thing I'll check out really quick because Belay is the only other one that has like unique praise. conversations after the Juhani stuff. Master Jar tells me you have successfully completed the tests. And I even see you have constructed your own lightsaber. You should be proud of your accomplishment. But never forget that you still have much to learn. As your power grows, you will constantly face temptations to slip to the dark side. This is the eternal struggle of the Jedi. Greetings, young Padawa. With power comes responsibility. And only by or at least I thought and she had something to say, but to we maybe didn't attention. time it up I wish right. You Greetings, young Padawa. Yeah. 
anyway, we'll just uh, take a nice little save right here. Good little view of the temple real quick. <laughs> And then I'm going to take a quick BRB, and then we'll come back on, finish out with a little mini.